10 persons are sitting in 12 seats in two parallel rows containing fly players in each in such a way that there is an equal distance between the adjacent players. In row 1, we have A, B, C, D and E and are, are seated and all of them are facing the south and in row 2, we have P, Q, R, S and T uh, are sitting and all of them are facing the north. There is one seat which is vacant in each row and uh, therefore in the giving seating arrangement each player seated in one row faces exactly one player in the other row. All of them live beside different rivers Ganga, Godavari, Narmada, Kaveri, Yamuna, Indus, Krishna, Satlaj, Cham Chambal and Mahanadi but not necessarily in the same order. So what is given here? We have two rows so let us take this as row 1 okay so in row 1 i have a b c d and e and all of them are facing downwards in row 2 i have p q r s and t all of them are facing upwards and these people are living beside different rivers as given and there are 12 seats okay out of which two seats are vacant one seat is vacant in each row so that is what is given now let us try to read the information and as we read the information we will try to fix the persons in the seats so what is given first b sits opposite to the person who sits third to the left of the person who lives behind chambal river so b b is in the first row i know that b is sitting opposite to some person who sits third to the left of the person who lives in chambal river so one two so this has to be the person who resides in Chambal River, right? So in that case, third to the left. See, this, these people are facing upwards. So left side is here. So third to left means one, two, three, right? So this is the, this is what you are able to understand using this statement, okay? So basically B is on this side somewhere, right? So I have, I don't know whether these people are sitting in the corner or not. See, I know there are four people and this is the person who, um, lives beside Chambal river and opposite to this person is B. So, 1, 2, 3. So, I have fixed this. This is what I understand from the first statement. Okay. Then, either D or S uh, live beside the Mahanadi river and uh, D nor, neither D nor S sits at the end of the row. Okay. Uh, now, let us not use all these information. Let us read this information here. Neither B nor the one who lives beside Chambal River sits at the third seat from any end of the rows. See, we have fixed four seats here. Remaining two seats are there. Now, one possibility is to place both the seats on one side. So, if this was the case, what will happen to B? B will be third from one end. They have given here that neither B nor the one who resides beside Chambal River sits at third seat from any end of the rows. So, this condition cannot be true. So, what does that mean? The two seats cannot be here. So, this cannot be the case. Similarly, the two seats cannot be here also. If I put the two seats on the other end, what will happen? Chambal will be third from one corner, right? which is also not possible. So, obviously, the two seats, remaining seats have to be placed like this. Yes, one on the left and one in the right one here, one here. So, these are the six seats in both the rows. Next, look at this information that is given here. R lives beside either Godavari or Kaveri river and sits second to the right of the person who sits opposite to C but not adjacent to the one who lives be beside Chambal river. So, there is a person who is sitting opposite to C and R sits second to the right of this person and it is also given that R is not a neighbor of the uh, person who lives in Cham besides Chambal River. So, if this is Chambal, these two cannot be R. So, I need to place a person, one gap and then R like this. Where can I place? So, this has to be that person we are referring to who is sitting opposite to C and one gap in between and this is R. Okay. So, R lives second to the right of this person okay so this is r you have fixed that also and it is also given that r lives either in godavari or kaveri 
So R is either in Godavari or Kaveri. We have to finalize that. Let's wait for that. Then C lives beside either Indus or Krishna river. So C lives beside Krishna or Indus. We don't know which. Any one of these. And then it is given the one who lives in the Indus river sits opposite to Krishna. So if this is Indus or Krishna, this is also Indus or Krishna, right? If this is Krishna, this is Indus. If this is uh, Krishna, this is Indus. This is Krishna. Okay. The vacant seats are not opposite to each other. A sits opposite to T and adjacent to the only one person who lives beside Kaveri river. Basically, they are saying that A is sitting adjacent to the person who lives beside Kaveri river. See, A is in the first row. So, the person who lives beside Kaveri river will also be in the first row. So, what does that mean? That means R has to live beside Godavari. See, we had, they had given, right, R lives either beside Godavari or Kaveri. But now they have clearly given that A sits adjacent to the person who lives beside Kaveri river. So, that means that Kaveri river is in the first row. So, this has to be Godavari. Now, we have to place A and T. Okay, what is given here? A sits opposite to T and adjacent to the only adjacent uh, to the only one person who lives in Kaveri river. So, A is sitting opposite to T and A is adjacent to the person who lives in Kaveri river. See, there are, how can A have only one person adjacent to it? See, either A is in this corner, right? If A, is, A and T is in this corner, then it is possible, right? See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, if this was A and T, right, this can be the one who stays in uh, Kaveri river. This is one possibility. Now, what is the other possibility? Where can I place A so that it has only one neighbor or one person adjacent to it? That is when close to A, there is a vacant space. In that case, it is possible. So, where can I uh, place A in that case? See, I know A is opposite to T. And... It is close to the uh, person who resides near Kaveri river. Okay, so this is one possibility. Either A and T are in this corner and this is Kaveri river. Okay, in this case, this is C, this is B and I know this is R, this is Chambal, Godavari, Indus or Krishna, Indus or Krishna. So, well, let us first consider this condition and see where it goes wrong. So, if this is the condition, then what happens? This is A and this is T. See, another information that is given here is E sits neither adjacent to D nor opposite to the one who lives besides Chambal river. So, if this is Chambal, this cannot be E. So, out of E has to be in one of these places, right? Either here or here. So, one of this place has to be E. So, what does that mean? This has to be D because Kaveri is there already. So, this has to be D and one of these places has to be E. So, if this is E, this is the blank space or if this is the blank space, this is E. Vacant seat. Blank space in the sense I mean vacant seat. So, if E is this, this is the vacant seat. If this is the vacant seat, then this is E. But is this possible? This is not possible because they have very clearly given that the vacant seat of the row 1 is not at any end of the row and is not adjacent to E. So, E cannot be close to the vacant seat. So, this condition fails. That is the uh, case where I am putting A and T in this corner. That fails. So, now what is the possibility that A has uh, one person sitting close to A and one blank space. That is the case when you have A then there can be one vacant seat either on this side or on this side of A and the other side will be Kaveri, right? The person who resides beside Kaveri. So, either it has to be like this or it has to be like this. So, this has to be the possible case where I can say that A is having only one neighbor because the other seat has to be vacant. So, now we have to decide where to place A. So, let us try this case where I am placing A here. Okay, If I place A here, then this becomes my vacant seat and this becomes Kaveri. Right? But is this possible? This is not possible. Why? Because it is given here that in row 1, the vacant seat cannot be in one corner. So, this can be vacant. This can be A. 
and this can be Kaveri, right? In that case, this can be T. So this is your vacant seat. So this will be Ka Kaveri. This will be Kaveri. This is A. This is T. Uh, so where will E come? This has to be E, right? E has to be Kaveri, and this has to be D in this case. But again, one more condition is given to us, which says either D or S live beside Mahanadi river and neither D nor S sits at the end of the row. So if this is the case that I am putting, D is coming at the end of the row which is not possible. Obviously, I can't change the place of E and D also. I can't put D here and take E to this corner. In that case, what will happen? E will become close to the vacant space. So that is also not possible. So this, I cannot put A here and put the blank here. So what is the only possibility that I have? I can put A here, this can be the blank and this can be the person who lives beside Kaveri. So this is a possibility, okay. Or again, I will have one more possibility that is, this can be the blank, this can be A and this can be the person who lives beside Kaveri. So let us try this case also, okay. If this is A, then which is T? This is going to be T. Now I need E and D will be here. But again, they have said that E sits neither adjacent to D. So basically, E and D cannot be together. So that's also not a possibility. See, basically, I'm eliminating all the possibilities that can come. So how can I place this? So this has to be Kaveri. This has to be A. And this has to be the vacant seat in this row. Now, if this is the case, where will E be? This has to be E. And this has to be D. So E is not adjacent to the vacant seat. E and D are not adjacent to each other. That's also satisfied. Okay. So if this is A, then this is T. Now, now let us try to place the remaining uh, persons. So on top you have freeze. So if this is blank, obviously this is not blank. Somebody is sitting here. See, you have another information that is given that the one who lives beside Narmada and the one who lives beside Yamuna sit facing each other. So I need to place Yamuna and Narmada opposite to each other. See, can I place them here? No. Can I place them here? No, because here already Godavari is there. Here I can't place. One blank is there. I can't place. I can't place because here Chambal is there. Here Kaveri is there. So where can this Yamuna and Narmada be? They have to be here, right? So one of this will be Yamuna and one of this will be Narmada. Again, one of this will be Yamuna and one of this will be Narmada. We have to again freeze, finalize on that. What will come where? Then P does not sit opposite to either B or E. So P cannot be here. Okay, P cannot sit opposite to B and P cannot sit opposite to E. So where will P be? Obviously, P has to be here or here. Okay, now let us, uh, if I take, okay, before that, see, you have already found the vacant space here. Here, if you see, which will be the vacant seat in this row? See, this is already occupied by the person who uh, lives besides Indus or Krishna. Here you have somebody sitting here, you have somebody. So this and these are the two vacant spaces you have right now. But the vacant seat cannot be here because in row one, the vacant seat is this. So in this case, which has to be your vacant seat? This has to be your vacant seat in this row. Okay, so you can uh, freeze on that. So the remaining persons you have to arrange them in these three places. Now I have to arrange P, Q and S. Now I know S has to either be here or here because it is already given that S does not sit in one end of the row and uh, P cannot be opposite to it is also given uh, P cannot be opposite to either B or E. So P cannot be here also. Now what information is given about Q? The one who lives beside Godavari river sits adjacent to Q but not adjacent to the one who lives beside Yamuna river. So the one who lives beside Godavari river is sitting adjacent to Q. Okay, So I am just assuming Q to be here. So if Q is here, this Godavari is adjacent to Q but not adjacent to Yamuna. So what does that mean? The person who is sitting here is residing beside Narmada. So if this is Narmada, I can freeze this as Yamuna. So this is Yamuna and this is Narmada. The one who lives beside Ganga river sits to the left of the one who lives beside Krishna river. 
So the one who lives beside Ganga river sits to the left of Krishna. So where can Ganga be now? Left of Krishna. Yeah, that's the clue there. So, uh, see, I know Krishna can either be here or here. Now, if I place Krishna in the second row, okay, which is the left of Krishna, it is here. Nobody is sitting there, right? So, what does that mean? That means that Krishna has to be in row 1. So, C has to be Krishna, okay? C has to be Krishna and this has to be Indus. So, if this is Indus and C is Krishna, uh, Ganga is somewhere here, D or A is Ganga. Now, if you see here, so that you have fixed, this is Krishna, this is Indus. Then, if this is Q, then obviously this is S and this is P. See, we can get a confusion, right? Why can't this be Q and this be S? right it is given here that see if i put q here it is given q does not see i can put q here also and i can put s here also but if you see there is a condition that is given q does not live beside narmada river so obviously this is s and this is q so here i have c b uh, d a e now yeah uh, it was given no either d or s sit near live beside Mahanadi river. So, if this is Narmada, then this has to be Mahanadi. So, which has to be Ganga? Mahanadi. If this is Mahanadi, A is Ganga because it is given Ganga is to the left of Krishna. So, this is Ganga and so Q will be the last one which will be Sutlej. So, this is your final arrangement that you get. So, in the row 1, you have C Krishna, B Yamuna, D Mahanadi, then the vacant space and then you have A Ganga, E Kaveri. In the bottom row, that is the second row, you have P Indus, S Narmada, R Godavari, Q Sutlej and T Chambal and then the vacant space. So, this is your final arrangement. Such questions in the examination, it would be a better choice to skip it because it is very, very time consuming. But a good question to practice.